Hello, my name is Kyle Jarris, and I'm the Education Director at the Academy of Model Aeronautics. I'm glad you found this quick project, and I know you're going to have a great time and learn a lot. Without further ado, enjoy this quick project. Claire from the Academy of Model Aeronautics and today we're going to be doing one of my very favorite projects of all time, Rocket Mouse. Now I picked up this project from my friend Seth Margolis at the Museum of Flight in Seattle, Washington and he can attest to the fact that this really is one of my favorite projects of all time. We're going to do two different versions of the project, one that is a little bit easier for smaller hands and one that's a little bit more difficult but I think you can do it. I believe in you. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to cut out the templates. Now if you joined us for AMA Junior Camp in the summer of 2020, you'll recognize this project and you'll recognize these templates. They were just so good, I didn't want to put, I didn't want them to go to waste, so I decided that we were going to use them today. So we're going to do the one with the logo on it. You just want to cut out your templates. It's really quick and easy. I have been doing this project for four years now, and so I was really excited when I got the opportunity to bring this to you right here from AMA Flight School. Now I'm just going to cut out both templates at once so that we can do the project a little bit quicker. So we got one there, we got the other one here. And don't worry if it takes you a little bit longer to cut out the template than it's taking me. Again, I've made an awful lot of rocket mice in my time. I could probably do this with my eyes closed at this point. I'm not going to, but I could. So I have my two templates here. And the first one, I'm going to do the easier way to make Rocket Mouse. So what we're going to do is actually flip Rocket Mouse over and we're going to fold on the dotted line. Just fold right across there on the dotted line. Just like that. We're going to take our glue stick. We're going to put glue all on the stripy part. And then we are going to fold over the rest of Rocket Mouse over that that part with all the glue on it and really press it down good so that we make sure it sticks and then we're going to squeeze the corners and kind of reshape Rocket Mouse into a cone shape. So that's the easy way to make Rocket Mouse. This is for smaller hands for kids that might not have as much dexterity just yet. Um, but still want to do the project because it is really fun, in my opinion. And so we're going to do the more difficult version now. And we're actually going to, you're going to get, you might get glue on your hands for this one. So you're going to put glue onto the stripey part. And then we're going to carefully shape Rocket Mouse into a cone, like an ice cream cone or like a megaphone. See what I mean about getting your hands sticky? very easily. And so you're going to make sure that Rock and Mouse is nice and stuck together and press it down. See, and you might need more glue, that's okay. If you can't get it to stick, just do your best, because I have, I have back a plan. So, you got it nice and stuck there, and see it's already a cone. We didn't have to shape it into a cone or anything. And if you feel worried about this, you can grab some tape and tape that seam down just so that it's nice and secure on Rocket Mouse. So now you have two different Rocket Mice. And now the next part is actually going to be exactly the same for both projects. So I'm just going to continue with one, but no matter which version you did, it's going to be the same from this point on. So I'm going to take the more difficult rocket mouse. I'm going to take my piece of tissue paper and I'm going to fold it. 
I'm going to cut out little ears, just like the sample rocket mouse I have here. And if you need help with the shape, I suggest um, drawing it out ahead of time with um, pencil. I could have done that, but my rocket mouse, he's from, he's got little pointy ears, I guess. <laughs> And so I'm going to put some, a little bit of glue onto his ears and stick it right there near the top. So that rocket mouse has some nice ears. Of course, being a mouse, rocket mouse needs a tail, right? So we're going to take a little piece of tape, stick it on the yarn, and put it right there on the inside of rocket mouse. So we have this cute little mouse all ready to go into space. The reason this is called Rocket Mouse is because mice were one of the first mammals actually to go to space. Isn't that interesting? I think that's so cool. So we're going to set aside all of our materials because it's time for launch. All you need for this project is a nice clean dry milk jug or a two liter soda bottle. You're going to place Rocket Mouse on this highly scientific launch pad like so. We're going to put the other Rocket Mouse over here. We don't want him to get in get in the way. And what you're going to do to launch Rocket Mouse, you're going to take your hands apart and bring them together like you're going to clap. I'm going to count, do a countdown. It's going to get loud. It's a very loud project at this point. Okay, so three, two, one. Hey guys, I hope you had a great time with that quick project. We have a ton more content available, so be sure to check out the website amaflightschool.org and modelaircraft.org both of which have a plethora of resources. Until next time, we'll see y'all later. Keep flying. <laughs>